In this video of glad to teach, we would be learning how to complete the square of any quadratic equation and hence solve it. But surely, it is not my favorite way of solving the quadratic equations and you will soon know why. Okay, so if you already know how to complete the square of the quadratic equation, then please try to solve this quadratic equation. Start. So now let me do it. The first step to complete the square of any quadratic equation would be to get rid of this coefficient of the x squared term. And we can do it by dividing both sides of the equation by this coefficient that is 2. So 2x squared divided by 2 will cancel this 2 and will be left with just x squared. And minus 5x divide by 2 will be minus 5 by 2x and similarly this will be plus 3 over 2 equal to 0 as 0 divided by 2 will still be 0. Now just put a bracket and in that put just x and now find the half of this coefficient and put it here. So half of minus 5 over 2 would be minus 5 over 4. And now you can put the square at the top of the bracket. In case you are wondering how come the half of this fraction 5 by 2 is 5 by 4. I can explain you. Like if I ask you, what is the half of 8? So instantly, you would divide this 8 by 2 and get the answer 4. Isn't it? So in other words, to find the half of any number, you have to times it by 1 by 2. That is 8 times 1 by 2. Since 2, 4 times is 8. So you get this answer 4. Similarly, the half of this fraction 5 by 2 would be 5 by 2 times 1 by 2, which is nothing but 5 by 4. And that is exactly what I put over there. So in short, whenever you have to find the half of any fraction, simply multiply its denominator by 2. See? So once again, coming back to completing the square. So as you can see that we have already completed the square of this quadratic equation. So now, find the square of this term and subtract it. So the square of 5 by 4 would be 25 over 16. So we will subtract 25 over 16 from this entire thing and copy the remaining things as it is. So this is plus 3 over 2 equal to 0. So now we have to simplify this part that is add these fractions. And as you know that to add the fractions we need to make their denominators same. So on multiplying this 2 with 8 we would get 16 and since we have multiplied the denominator by 8, so we have to multiply the numerator with 8 as well. So that means this fraction would become 24 over 16. So now we can easily add these fractions. Plus minus 25 plus 24 divided by 16 equal to 0. Make sure that you put plus here 
and not minus. Otherwise, you'll get a wrong answer. So, minus 25 plus 24 would be minus 1. So, that means this whole thing is minus 1 over 16. Now take this minus 1 over 16 to the other side. So it will become plus 1 over 16. And now you can take this square to the other side as well. So when this square will go to the other side, it will become square root. As the square and the square root are opposite of each other and you already know that when things go from one side to the other they become opposite of what they were so this means x minus 5 by 4 is equal to plus minus 1 over 4 as the square root of 1 over 16 is 1 over 4 as the square of both 1 over 4 and minus 1 over 4 is 1 over 16. And finally, we have managed to get this simple linear equation, which we can solve to get the two roots of this quadratic equation. So now, take this minus 5 over 4 to the other side, and it will become plus 5 over 4. So we'll have x equal to plus 5 over 4 that is just 5 over 4 plus minus 1 by 4 so now just add these fractions and thankfully the denominators are already equal so we'll have x equal to 5 plus minus 1 So now, we can separate these two roots. So, one root will be x equal to 5 plus 1 over 4. 5 plus 1 is 6 over 4. And the other root would be 5 minus 1 over 4. 5 minus 1 is 4 over 4. So now, just simplify these fractions. 2 3 times is 6 and 2, 2 times is 4. So that means one root is 3 over 2 and the other root will be 1. I'll put it down neatly. There it is. 3 by 2 and 1. And finally, this equation is solved. So now you know why this completing the square method of solving the quadratic equations is not my favorite method. Like if I ask you to hold your nose with your hand. So you can do it either like this or you can do it by first raising your hand and then taking it behind your head and then of course you have to take a 360 degree turn and then turn your wrist and finally you have done it. I really insist, please try holding your nose right now by this amazing technique. Believe me, it is very important because if you can hold your nose this way, then you can also master this technique of solving the quadratic equations as both these techniques are exactly alike. 
that is really difficult way of doing something very simple so now let us solve this same quadratic equation by this technique so just transfer this coefficient of the x squared term here 2 3 times is 6 so what are the two factors of 6 whose sum or difference is 5 they are 3 and 2 so now you can adjust the signs since their sum or difference is negative therefore the bigger number has to be negative and since their product is positive so therefore the other number should be negative as well isn't it minus 3 minus 2 is minus 5 and minus 3 times minus 2 is positive 6 so now divide both these numbers by this coefficient that is by 2 and this fraction can be simplified further 2 minus 1 times is minus 2 and now simply make these signs opposite so negative 3 over 2 will become positive 3 over 2 and negative 1 will become positive 1 so that's it we have solved this quadratic equation so the two roots are 3 over 2 and 1 see so now tell me can you spot the difference between this method and this method I'm sure you can.